Hi, it's Sarah from South Fayette Township Library. And this week I'd like to recommend my latest read, Rules of Civility by Amar Tolls. This was Amar Tolls' first published novel, and it was a 2011 New York Times bestseller. Ever since I finished reading this book several days ago, I can't stop thinking about it. And the more I think about it, the more reasons I have to love the story. First of all, there's very well-developed characters, and there are interesting themes to think about, and they make for wonderful discussion. Themes like choices that you make in your early 20s and how they impact your entire life. There's themes of civility. Themes that one theme is about staying true to yourself photographs and what they mean. I love how every single thing in this book has meaning. The title, Rules of Civility, refers to uh, young George Washington's rules of civility and uh, behavior. There's about 110 of them and they all appear at the back of the book. One of the characters was given the rules of civility for his 14th birthday and he carries them around with him. And that is such an interesting thing, given his situation and his character. It's amazing. The names of the characters have meaning. I think that uh, the lyrics to a song has meaning. There are s several references to literary works, and uh, it's because our main character is an avid reading, reader, and what she chooses to read and quotes from these books have meaning to her and to her outlook on life. We learn more about her based on what she reads. And that is so interesting. I thought it would be fun to talk to you a little bit about the preface of this book because I thought that it really builds up the excitement about the story and tells you a lot about how it's written. So the preface takes place in 1966. And we're introduced to a middle-aged couple who are very well-dressed and apparently have a lot of money. It's Katie Content and her husband, Valentine Hollingsworth. And they're at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. And they're at a photography exhibit called Many Are Called. And the title to that exhibit has meaning that we'll learn much, much later in the book. So they're walking around the exhibit and Katie Content sees a photograph with a man in there that she recognized. And she says to her husband, hey, that was my friend, Tinker Gray. And Tinker Gray looks underweight, shabbily dressed, uh, but he looks happy. And they continue walking through the exhibit and look at other photo. They're looking at other photographs, and Katie's kind of reminiscing about the time that Tinker was part of her life. Sure enough, she runs across another photograph of Tinker Gray. This time, Tinker's in a cashmere coat, and he's clean shaven, and he looks very well to do. And Valentine says to Katie, "Well, at least your friend was able to pull himself up from his boots by his bootstraps." and make a better life for himself. And Katie corrects him and says, no, these pictures go in the opposite direction. Tinker Gray's story is really a riches to rags story. And that right there has me invested as a reader. I wanna know more about Katie's relationship with Tinker Gray. And I wanna know what happened to him. How did he go from riches to rags? It's such, a well-written story, very intriguing. And in chapter one, we find out that this, we're gonna learn that this whole story takes place from New Year's Eve in 1937 for the whole year of 1938. And now New York City is, you know, just like the rest of America is just recovering from the Great Depression. In fact, I would say Manhattan is a character in the story because it's, it's referenced so much and is so 
important to the story. And we learn about where Katie starts out in life and what she hopes to accomplish, her circle of friends. And it's the moral dilemma of the story is very interesting. I can definitely see why Amor Tolls made enough money on the proceeds of Rules of Civility to quit his 20 year long career in investment banking. He is best known for his second novel, A Gentleman in Moscow, and many of you have probably read that. It has just risen clearly to the top of my to be read list because I'm so intrigued about what he's going to, you know, what did he write? I think you'll really enjoy this book if you like a book that slowly develops. If you want a story that is extremely fast paced with this gigantic dramatic climax, then Rules of Civility is probably not for you. But if you are willing to take a slower paced novel, this is a gorgeous one. And you can enjoy it with a nice cup of tea during this cold, these cold winter nights, or you could have a gin and tonic or a martini with extra olives like the characters in this book do when they have their many parties or go to the jazz clubs. I hope you enjoy Rules of Civility. Have a great week and stay well.